Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I've just finished part three of the Mathematical Tripos at the University of Cambridge, which as I say in all of my videos is basically a fancy way of saying that I studied a maths masters. Now my current job is as a space systems optimization engineer, which is quite the mouthful, but I graduated, well I will be graduating from Cambridge in the spring. So I thought I would make a video about studying the hardest maths course in the world. Before diving into the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I am planning on making this the first video in a long list of Cambridge series. Um, you know, I'm going to film loads of videos about Cambridge and specifically what maths was like there and make it into a series. So if you fancy watching those videos or if you're interested, then hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on those videos. Now I'm going to tell you honestly you know my personal opinion and i'm gonna i've broken it down into a few different bits i'm gonna make a separate video on my cambridge experience this is just part three experience so yeah i'm gonna i've just got some bullet points here and i'm just gonna talk to you about generally how i found part three. First thing that i'm gonna talk about is give you like an overall summary so part three was incredible honestly i learned some amazing maths you know there's videos on my channel i really struggled with my physical health when i first got to cambridge and once i'd got all that sorted i just like I loved being there I loved learning some incredible maths being taught by incredible lecturers obviously it was hard it was it was so hard and once I kind of got into the groove of how part three worked I honestly loved it I will be completely honest and say that my mathematical ability is so much more advanced now that I've studied my masters when I think about where I was at the end of third year finishing my bachelor's and then where I am now my maths ability has it, it's just ridiculous like how much better it is for me personally I'm in a job now where I need to do mathematical research at times and I can do it so much more efficiently than I used to be able to so for me part three maths I'm so glad I did it was it hard yes you know was it intense yes was it one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life yes but was it worth it yes I can't quite describe how incredible I feel now that I've completed it and I've graduated well will be graduating in this spring so overall comments it was hard yeah but definitely worth it so rewarding now I'm going to talk about how I found lectures so the pace itself some lectures would go faster than others I found the continuum mechanics courses went faster than the astrophysics but it just depends really I think it also depends on how well you know a certain topic so some lectures would go really fast some would go really slow that's just generally how I found the lecture like if I was really enjoying it then it'd go faster if it was something I wasn't as interested in then obviously it would go slower but typically the lectures are fast paced but it's not too fast paced that you, you know you can't write everything down for me I was able to write everything down and then review my material afterwards now the content I love the content all of the content was great I chose modules that I enjoyed and that helped a lot <laughs> piece of advice choose choose modules that you enjoy the teachers again great teachers as I mentioned, they're world leaders in their research, so they are incredible and really good at teaching. And the standard of teaching, as I said, it was great. Uh, I really enjoyed just sitting in lectures and, and learning really cool stuff. So overall lectures, yes, they were fast paced. Yes, at times it was hard to follow. But once I kind of got into the groove of reviewing my lecture notes afterwards, asking for help if I needed it, I thought it was really good. Very passionate people talking about things they love and I think... You can't go wrong when you <laughs> when you sat in a lecture and there's someone who loves what they do. The example sheets and example classes. Example sheets are designed to be hard. They there were some that were very very hard for me. Some example sheets were really really hard. I was able to do some of the questions. Sometimes I could do all the questions. Sometimes I'd work with other students and we'd figure it out together. So advice: if you are in part three or you're going to study part three, don't worry if the example sheets are really hard. Like they're designed to be hard. <laughs> um, just know when to stop I think is is the advice like if all your other work is falling behind because you're focusing on one example sheet just make sure you're spending an equal amount of time keeping all your other modules afloat and again you have example classes where it's a room full of all the students for me anyway because my modules were small it was all the students in that module and then we'd go through the example class and more often than not we'd go over the time allotted because people were asking questions if you are stuck you know ask the lecturer or ask um, the example sheet person that's teaching just ask them for help and, and they'll give you it now the buildings and study spaces so the math department itself is an incredible place to be now in terms of the study spaces i didn't think the study spaces were that great there's a part three study space it's not massive and i never actually spent any time in there because i spent most of my time in, in college and studying kind of in libraries near near my college there is a library in the maths 
kind of in the department of maths and that's a really nice space when you go into like the maths center i think it's called like the, the main maths building there's little desks and i thought oh you can just go and study at them but usually that's where like supervisions are held so i got kicked out one time like i was just sat there and this quite rude person came up to me and was like i have a supervision here like you need to move and I didn't know that, you know, I didn't realise that supervisions were held there. That was like the only bad experience I really had. But I generally spent more time in my college revising and in other libraries. But the maths department itself, like where it is, it's kind of off campus a bit. Like it's kind of, it's a bit of a walk to get there. But yeah, it's, it's a very nice environment. And yeah, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed like studying there. Now, the next bit that I'm going to talk about are the students there. For me, I, I don't know if like it was the same for everybody in part three. But for me, I had some amazing people that I met in my... Uh, in my lectures I had some very like people that I'd met you know in lectures spoken to a few times and then when everything happened with my physical health I released a video and they'd watch my videos and they just were so supportive and just said I'm you know here if you, you need to go for a walk or something and they were all really lovely and also very like happy to help for me generally the students that I that I met were just passionate about what they did and loved what they did and yeah for me the student experience i I really enjoyed everyone in part three maths. So yeah, you'll make some nice friends if, if you do go study in part three. Now, in terms of the essay, which can also be called a dis dissertation, thesis, whatever you want to call it. Absolutely love that. I Like I said, I'm going to release a video explaining all about that. I would highly recommend anyone who likes writing essays and research and, and stuff like that to do it because it's a massive, massive learning curve and, and something that you definitely need to do if you want to go into research. So yeah, the essay for me was amazing. Now I've put revising for exams down here. I'm I'm going to do this in a separate video but I'm going to talk about how I revised for my exams at Cambridge and at my undergrad as well and generally how I did so well um, on both my courses. As a kind of overview I found revising for exams it was stressful but it was also like I loved what I was doing so it wasn't too bad. I enjoyed revising for my exams which strange very strange I know. <laughs> um, the exams themselves were like they went well they went better than I expected so that's good and hopefully all of you will be in the same situation and also if an exam goes bad don't worry because most people will have also found it bad <laughs> like most people will also have struggled with it and that kind of drops the the kind of grade boundaries for everybody else now I've kind of put on here a few different things that I'm going to put into another video and those are generally how I how I coped you know how, what I did to succeed on the hardest maths course in the world you know I, although I'm talking about my personal experience now I want to make I'm finding it hard to give a couple of sentences to each of these bullet points I want to go into a lot of depth about them and tell you kind of how I coped what I did imposter syndrome because that's a huge aspect of part three and a lot of people have it and just generally loads of other things so I'm going to make this into a full video full full series on my channel but I've finished with a bullet point that is the overall difficulty it's difficult to explain how difficult it was. I try and not let the kind of my physical health issues that were happening at the time impact what I thought of the course because that's obviously for me that's that's that influences it. If I, if I had to group the difficulty of the lectures, the example sheets and the exams, okay put it this way if I if I had chosen to just do continue mechanics I probably would have said a nine but because I did astrophysics and I found a new area that I really really enjoyed and don't get me wrong I did enjoy continue mechanics but I didn't enjoy it as much as astrophysics with astrophysics combined I would say that the like level of difficulty was like a seven or eight and even at times like lower than that like better than that because I don't want to come on here and and say to people on here and say oh it's so hard like you're gonna struggle because like I genuinely had like the worst imposter syndrome I had the worst physical health issues for a long time I couldn't make it into lectures like I was having like the worst year of my life genuinely and I still managed to graduate and I kind of want you to take that away part three is as hard as you make it if you pick modules you enjoy and you do it sensibly then you'll have the best time and for me if it was if I can get rid of all those like physical health issues that I had I had the best time I learned the most amazing modules and yeah it was hard but like I, I love the challenge yes it's the hardest maths course in the world and yes it has that name associated with part three and yes it's so hard but it's also so fun and it's not impossible I think that's something that's very important to take away if you get an offer for part three it's not impossible 
it might be hard at times but like it's the hardest maths course in the world for a reason although it was hard i had the best time so if you can take anything away from this video if you're going to study part three just enjoy it don't stress easier said than done i know but you get to learn some incredible maths with some incredible people surrounded by some very intelligent people and for me it was an experience that i'll that i'll never forget cherish every moment you have there and just make the most of it because it is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I think I'll end on that. I'll end on that note. But yeah, I'm going to make a lot of videos about Cambridge, about maths, about part three. If you have any video recommendations, comment them down below. If you have any questions, comment them down below and I'll do my best to answer. I'm losing my voice now because I've talked for like a whole hour on, <laughs> on part three. But if I've forgotten anything, just let me know and I'll, <laughs> I'll put it in another video or I'll comment down below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe if you are new to the channel because I'm going to be releasing so many more videos. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone who has supported this channel. 2023, I'm coming in with a lot of videos. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.